your truck won't run properly. So let me start the truck for you. This one has 390,000. Welcome back to the channel, guys. 96 GMC Sierra with the 6.5 turbo diesel. 390,000 miles. How do I run this truck for so long? This is a 26 year old truck. And there's a few things, at least five, that I can tell you that this is how my truck has been starting every time. 95%. I never stood on a road with this truck. Engine, transmission, um, I still haul cars with it running perfect. So the first thing is definitely the batteries, right? As you can see here, I have two batteries that is uh, 2020 from Walmart. Walmart batteries is good batteries, guys. Um, this is the city, so you're gonna hear some, uh, some uh, sirens in the back, which is okay. Um, so first things, definitely batteries. You need to have good battery. You need to have good voltage for your engine to work properly. This is not just for this particular truck, but any vehicle. The second thing is battery cables, guys. I know this is an old truck. You can say, oh, it's an old truck, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, but if you take care of your truck, the truck will take care of you. It'll run properly. What I'm saying is is your battery cables, your battery connection, your battery is not moving around. As you can see, this, uh, this negative right here, it's, it's going right here to the side. Also, is going over here to this side of the engine. Um, this negative right here is going all the way over there in the engine and then one over here. Um, all my, uh, my positive while well, uh, mounted and it's not going anywhere. That is the second thing, battery, battery cables. Because everything is voltage, guys. I mean, just look around. If you see wires, right, there's voltage going through it. And if you don't have the right voltage on your battery, most likely your truck won't run properly. So let me start the truck for you so you guys can hear it. The truck, this one has 390,000. There's my glow plug. Light off. It runs so good. Hear it. It runs so good. 26 year old, you have the right batteries, the right size, what the manufacturer calls for, and the right cables, the right thickness, and, and you know, properly mounting and make sure that there's no corrosion, right? So let me, let me shut it off so I'm not talking over the engine running. The third thing is engine oil, guys. Engine oil, you have to stay on top of it. Maybe every week, however your rituals in your truck, get under the hood, check your, your fluids, Make sure it's on the level, the right level, your transmission, your, your engine oil, and use the proper oil. Don't, don't use, oh, uh, some weird blends or anything like that. Just go with the normal stuff that the, the you know, the, this engine right here calls for the 15W40 oil. And that, that's usually what I use, right? I use that and that's only, right? The fourth thing is the engine oil filter, right? If you look at over here, I use Mobile One. That's the only thing that I use on this truck. That's all I've been using um, right there. That is the, the, this particular truck right here is the M1302A filter. That's what I use, guys. That's what I always been using because I feel like across the board, for me, that filter is being used in all of my cars. And I have like four cars that's over 200,000 miles. So that just that right there speaks for itself. Okay, so that's the fourth thing. The fifth thing is fill filter, right? The fill filter, very important as well. I have a, a video that I changed the fill filter Ever since I have this truck, I only changed the fuel filter twice. 
but it's already due for a fill filter and I have to change that as well, right? And that's pretty much it, guys. I will start the truck one more time so you guys can see here how the truck is doing. Get the key again. I mean, it's running perfect. All right, guys. Thank you so much for your time. Make sure you comment, like. Um, guys, very important. Battery, cables, engine oil, engine filter, fill filter, all this stuff. And one little nugget. As soon as you buy a brand new truck or any truck, um, make sure you check the fluids on it. Check every fluid, check the differential fluid. Um, and, 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 and you will see that you're gonna have a truck uh, that will last you for a long time. All right, guys, thank you so much. Have a good one.